And 2017, it has been a great, great year. And along with it comes big stories. Some made us cry, others made us smile. News West, News West 9, Jolene Okasaki gives us a look at some of the News West 9's most popular stories. Good morning, Jolena. Please don't make me cry. <laughs> Good morning, Roxette. I will not make you cry, I promise. And that's right, it's been a pretty long year here. But here at News West 9, of course, we don't make the news. But we do our best to keep you up to date and informed of what's happening here in West Texas. Now, these 2017 stories were the stories that pretty much were the talk of the town, some even making national news and some that changed the communities forever. Well, one of the top stories involved the two Goddard Junior High School coaches and four MISG students on a bus trip. One of the coaches threatened to remove a player from athletics if he said anything about sexual misconduct that happened on the bus. The two coaches were indicted for tampering with evidence and terminated from MISD. Another story is one of strangers helping strangers, a Midland rancher making efforts to help victims affected from the Panhandle fires back in March. Midlander Italian Thompson paid for almost $30,000 worth of pay to help displaced animals. And a story of sadness, a 16 year old boy who died from falling down 11 stories inside the Western United Life building in Midland. 16 year old John Butler and his friends were playing with airsoft rifles inside the abandoned building downtown. That's when Butler fell through a large hole and died by the time EMS arrived. And a viral video making national news, this bad case of road rage caught on camera in Midland County. You can see in the video a semi is trying to get around what looks like a Hummer but they're not letting the truck pass. The Midland County Sheriff's Office told us the reason why is because the driver of the Hummer said the driver of the truck threw a can out the window, hitting their vehicle. And it changed the Alpine community forever. After four months of the disappearance of Sol Ross student Zuzu Verk, her on and off again boyfriend Robert Fabian was arrested for tampering with physical evidence by concealing a human corpse. Zuzu's body was located in Alpine, three miles northwest of the city, four months again after her disappearance. Fabian is charged with Zuzu's murder and will be tried in Caldwell County. And it's a story of kindness that greatly impacted West Texas. We told you about him before. Big Spring resident Eric Escobar Mia creating a blessing box at the start of the new year to give back to those who needed that extra help. But it's what happened later. A few months down the road, Big Spring had about 15 blessing boxes around the city. Not to mention after Eric's story aired, more blessing boxes spread in other West Texas cities like Seminole, La Mesa, and even Midland. Eric told us in the beginning of 2017 he hoped it would inspire people to do something good for someone else. If you have the desire to help, just do it. Stop talking about the ideas that you have or what is it going to take for you to do it. Just do it. And it might not be at the level or where you want it to be, but I promise you, if, if you just move, you will get there. And that's great advice. And of course, you can't fit 2017 under three minutes. So if you want to see our other popular stories, we've created a timeline of those stories from 2017. Just visit our website at newswest9.com. Roxette.